So we're back with another troubleshooting video and kind of a uh, tip for how to use the actual printers. Let's say you come in to print something and you see that the plastic has somehow disconnected. So we can see the plastic got snapped a little bit and it's no longer going into the printer through the little extruder to melt to give us our wonderful design that we've uh, decided to print. So how do I handle that? The way we do that is we just need to reload the plastic and we're going to show you how to do that. And we're also going to show you a little tip on how to get the plastic that's stuck, uh, where the plastic kind of snapped off, um, how to get that through so you can actually load this plastic back in to actually start your printing it. So what you want to do, you want to come over to Cura, and whatever you're printing, um, you want to click to print with USB, and that should bring up our print window. We'll give that a minute, and our print window comes up. Our print window, we should connect to our printer. You notice it says connect right now. Uh, that should gray out once it starts connecting. So we'll give that a minute. And it's going to start detecting uh, baud rate and it's going to start actually connecting. And once it's actually connected, it will uh, highlight the print button. So you could click print now, but you're not going to be able to print anything because there's actually no plastic that's going to come through and down into your, your hot end of your printer. So what we want to do is we want to heat the printer up first. So we want to go down to this temperature, type in about, let's say 200 degrees, uh, hit enter, and then click elsewhere. And we should see the temperature starting to go up. And the temperature starts to rise. Now we need to wait for this temperature. You can see it's going to go up all the way up to 200. Once it's at 200, we will uh, start back and uh, show you what to do. So you just need to wait for this red uh, mark or this number up here to go up to 200. So I'll pause the video and then I'll restart once we're up to temperature. Back, it actually took about two to three minutes for it to heat up to the right temperature. And now that we're up to temperature, this hot end is hot. So the plastic should be able to start coming out. If I push down on this, we might be able to squeeze it out. We might not be able to. That's where you're gonna want a tool. Your handy dandy tool that you wanna use is gonna be a tiny little Allen wrench. So we have these Allen wrenches in the actual uh, physics lab. And what we want to do is we want to try to push this plastic down. I'm going to push it through. We should see it as we push down start to come out of the hot end. So the plastic's going to be melted. It's going to be heated up enough that it should be able to push through uh, all the way till we get it up to the hole where it actually goes through. So if you can get it to the hole, wonderful. Uh, if you don't have an Allen wrench, uh, the Allen wrench you can keep pushing to get it to go all the way through. The other thing you can use is you can use a paper clip. It's just a regular old paper clip. Just kind of unbend it. Uh, you're just looking for a nice skinny little metal piece that you can take and you can kind of push down. And we're going to angle this a little bit so maybe you can see a little bit better. And what we're doing is we're angling this paperclip down and we're using it to push in this little hole. This little hole is where the plastic goes and we're pushing down on that so that we can get the plastic to go all the way through. Let's see how close up we can get. It's very, very tough to see on this particular printer just because they've uh, redesigned it a little bit and they've uh, kind of gotten rid of some of the spacing that you have there. But if you look very, very closely, you can see there's a little wheel here, this uh, little gear. And this little gear has some teeth on it. And next to that is a little wheel. And the plastic comes down through this hole and gets squeezed between these two little wheels, this guy and the one that's kind of hidden back here and it gets pushed down into this hot end, okay? So if we keep pushing this down, we should be able to get that cleared out so that we can get our plastic reloaded in. Okay.
So all I've done here is I've taken the plastic that was stuck and I've heated up this hot end so that the plastic would actually melt and I'm pushing the uh, leftover filament through the hole. And you'll know that it's through when you actually see the plastic start to come out the bottom end. And if you look, I'm actually pushing the plastic out. And you can actually see it coming out here. So we've cleared out our plastic. And now what we need to do, we need to load our new plastic in. So that's going to consist of taking this plastic that's connected to our spool. Take this. And there's a little hole right up here. And you can see the hole very, very clearly when you have the printer in front of you. And you're going to kind of grip your printer right at the bottom near this fan, being careful not to touch the hot end. And kind of brace your thumb on the edge of this uh, little lever. You squeeze this as much as you can so that you can get this plastic fed down in. You're going to feed this plastic in and through until it gets into that little hole. And as you keep pushing down, you should be able to get your plastic to start feeding in. Okay, so I'm going to push down on this plastic. And as I'm pushing this plastic through, we should know that it's completely loaded up when we see plastic coming out of the bottom right here. So as I keep pushing, you'll see the plastic is coming out. Okay, so we clear away some of that plastic. And then to make sure that the printer is actually printing correctly, we come back to our printer software and we go to this button that says extrude and I'm going to do plus 10. And we notice the plastic is coming on out. Go ahead and give it maybe two more clicks on that plus 10 to make sure that you clear out all the plastic that was in there. And now we reloaded our plastic and are ready to click print. So that's how you clear a little jam or a plastic that is maybe, maybe a filament spool that is broken off and how you reload your plastic.